game is going to be a physical one, but uh, it's fair to say that Utah takes it up to a different level. Um, yeah, and I think that's just how they play. Um, I thought they were a pretty physical team last year, and um, there's some guys in that locker room who think so as well. And so um, we're preparing for a, a dog fight, and we know that's what it's going to be. What, what do you remember from last, last year's game? Obviously, a big game for you, a big game for the team. Just a lot of hitting. I remember a lot of hitting. Um, that's something they do really, uh, very well. I felt like um, all players, not even just their defensive front, their their safeties and corners even come down and try to hit. And I think that's just the mentality they play with, and that's what their coaches taught them, and that's what's instilled in them. You considered going to Utah. What's it like for you and Jane, two of the biggest players on the offense, obviously going you know, into Utah with both of you guys ranked pretty high? Um, we played there before. We're just going to go there and play our game. Um, we've got a game plan. I think we have a, a really good game plan and what's going on. We understand what's at stake. And so uh, I think guys are, are, are just ready to go out there and compete. And Utah fans and you have kind of gone, gone at each other over the years. Is there any extra motivation when you're going up against a fan base that you know kind of does that? I just think the situation in which we are in now, um, that's all the motivation we need. Um, none of that outside stuff, that, that'll come later. Um, and so um, right now, we just got to keep the main thing the main thing. What, what was your kind of reaction when Jaden took off? What was that moment like for you seeing him at the end of the game? I think I was, I was pretty tired when we were coming down. <laughs> um, and so they, I had to run like a little five yard out. Um, I was telling Jaden, um, I think I could see the linebacker's eyes. Number 13, he asked me, man, I told Jaden if he needed someone, I'm going to be an outlet. I was going to be open. I was going to make sure I got open. And so ran the route, and I turned my head, and I, I seen Jaden stuff up and take off. And I just threw my arms up because, one, I was too tired to chase him, and, two, I knew it was going to be a touchdown. And so it was really a great feeling, and I, I was happy for him. Did you guys run the same run play every rush? Um, something like that. There was different variations and formations of which it was ran out of, but for the most part, it was a few of the same plays. Yeah. You guys have already beaten two ranked teams on the road. Can you talk about what that does for this team's confidence and disposition as you now face that exact same challenge again on Saturday? As far as confidence, I felt like that confidence stemmed back from even last year. Um, we were in these close games, but we lost them, and so I felt like it was just a, a growing pain. We now know when we're in these, or when we are in these situations, how to move on from them and how to get things going and get the win and come out with the win. Now you and Jaden, and as well as Brandon, have become one of the best trios in the Pac-12. And how have you guys been able to work so effectively together in just your first year as you know this dynamic trio? Practice, really. Um, I, I would say practice. Um, in the off season, in the summer, we would call up the quarterbacks and just throw routes with them. And so I feel like um, that's where that Brandon Ayuk and um, Jaden. Um, that, that connection's coming from, and also at the same time, um, with Brandon doing his thing, Jaden be able to run and throw the ball. Um, it's, it's backing people out of the box, which is helping the run game as well. And so um, that's a, a huge testament to what those guys have been doing on the field and um, also the, the coaches that are here coaching these guys. You know, what are your thoughts on what Brandon was able to do, setting career highs and receiving yards and touchdowns in the game? Um, I texted Brandon, I think, after the game, telling him, that he's a dog, like um, like you really did that. That was your game um, that, that you really took off. And, and it's really crazy just seeing how much Brandon has grown um, just from even coming in and um, sitting and watching what Nikhil did and being able to come back. And I mean, I mean, we even saw like little bursts of that in, in the, the, the bowl game versus um, Fresno State. And so um, I'm just happy everything that he said he wanted is right in front of him and he's, he's making the best of it. And when you guys both had big games last year against Utah, does it, do you guys like use that at all to try to motivate yourselves or, or to try to see if you can recreate that or is it just completely new slate? Um, really new slate. I think really, like I said, we understand what's at stake. This is a big game and so that's really everything, um, all the motivation we need.